starting playlist is outdoor 15 starting child's pose and already begin your playlist and the scanner text me if anything goes crazy all right so let your shoulders come up by the ears come to the fingertips and then exhale flatten out the hands shoulders down the back let's do that two more times inhale shrug the shoulders way up by the ears and then flatten out the palms of the shoulders melt down. One more time, do that. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up by the ears. Yeah. And then lay them down the back and just pause there, just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Making sure that you're expanding your side body and your belly. Just see what's available, where to send your breath, where it's already easy where you might need to just gently nudge it. Then crawl your hands over to the right. And if it's comfortable, tip your face to the right. And keeping the right hand just outstretched, staying in child's pose. Go ahead and just lift the right arm up on the inhale and on the exhale, just stretch it down. So again, you're focusing on the left side of your rib cage, reach the arm up, stretch it down. One more time, inhale, reach that right arm up, spin the palm and either let the hand lay at your left flank or perhaps snuggle the fingertips to the inner left side. And then two choices, either have your right shoulder rounded down towards your mat or move the shoulder away from the mat. So you decide. And just breathe into that left side body. Now we're going to the bind. Inhale, reach the hand up, stretch it out. Crawl through center. Come up to the fingertips, shrug the shoulders, unshrug, flatten out palms. Stay here for a full cycle of breath. See if you can expand out a little more space to that left side where you open. And then start to crawl your hands over to the left side to start paying attention to the right side. And on the inhale, staying in child, we'll just lift your left arm up. Just wherever it goes, it goes. Exhale, stretch it out long. Inhale, feel the navel start to lift up towards the heart as well. Gentle core engagement here. And then hold that left hand up, spin the palm, either let it lay down to the back or to the thigh. And again, just play. Left shoulder down might feel better right now, or a little bit of an open up. And you have your eyes open, they're closed. Breathe into that right side. Inhale, left hand up to the sky. Exhale, reach it out. One more time, call through center, fingertips grip, shoulders reach up, exhale, melt down. And then come on up to downward facing dog. Take this one for a slow walk. So bending one knee at a time for sure. And perhaps moving the knee to the opposite side with the gaze, feeling the side body stretch. We're going to end up in bear pose just so that it's more accessible to start opening up the upper back, the belly, the side body before we focus on the lower body. And really feel those arms stretch down and forward, ears even with your upper arms, or go ahead and tuck the chin down and see what's available for that nice stretch of the upper back. Keep your right knee deeply bent, straighten out the left leg, and then go ahead and take that little stretch where you tip your right knee towards the left, press your right hand down a ton, and lift your left arm up. So it's this weird looking stretch. You might be able to flatten out your left foot, but you're gonna feel the stretch up on the left side and underneath on the right. Take that left hand back down, square the hips, and then bend the left knee. Take it to the right, press down like crazy to your left hand, and just see if you can reach the right hand up, perhaps the right heel goes down. And we'll go side to side with that. So exhale to the right. Lift up, inhale, left hand, exhale. Inhale, bend the left, exhale, and then inhale, open the right. So just go back and forth on your own. You can just breathe in a way that just feels organically possible, whether I'm saying inhale and you're on an exhale. I just want you to feel your body opening up. One more time, tipping knee, lifting left, and then tipping knee, lifting right. And then go ahead and hold your first down dog as much as you can with your heels lowering towards the earth, the bones up to the sky. 
then back into bear pose and then crawl your hands under the shoulders to hover your table. So shins on your knees or knees on your hips and hands under shoulders. And then come down to child's pose, take a breath here. And then come back up through table, come all the way down to the mat. Take your feet as wide as your mat here. Press those insteps down strongly so the kneecaps lift up. And then take low cobra, one of three. Exhale, tap the rest where you're down. Inhale, stretch forward to lift up. Just keep the lower body rooted. Tap the left ear down. Inhale, stretch forward to lift up. Options from here. Test the palms, hug the elbows in, and float the feet. Or with this little gripping action, just float the fingertips just about an inch. So stick those elbows in towards each other. And again, just see what's available, where you can breathe. Find out the hands, tuck the toes under, come back to tabletop position, and then take those in steps down here. Maintain this tabletop position, and one more time, float the shins. So hovering table with the in steps pressing. It's a little bit different. You might feel it a little bit lower in your core. Lower those shins, tuck the toes under. Hover the table and just see again, where do you feel it in your core? Maybe a little bit higher towards the belly button. Lower the knees, flatten out the feet. One more time, lift the shins and just see where you feel it. We're gonna to come to upward facing dog from here. So crawl your hands forward, keep those in steps and then lift the heart as you lower the hips and then come back to hovering that table. So we're gonna crawl the hands forward, straighten out the legs, come to upward face. You can always put your knees down if this is too much. Crawl back to hovering table and last time, upward facing up and then come to downward facing up. All right, stay here and breathe. Close your eyes. Put your hands down and forward. You have a distance between the palms and the toes. Feel the side body expanding, the belly expanding. Just really connect with your breath. If you need to move around, move around. Go ahead and crawl your hands to your feet. We're going to take the feet as wide as our mat. Bend your knees generously, and if you have a block at home or a cushion or a pillow and you need it, grab it. But it's going to take the right hand in front of the right foot and come to a twist here. Bending the right knee, so it's kind of like we did in down dog. It's going to go side to side, left hand down, right arm up. And just switch. The pace of your breath, you move side to side. Right? So try not to press all your weight to your hands. In fact, if you want to come to those tented fingertips, just have a light touch as you float side to side. And then hold here in the middle. Straighten out the legs, inhale a little or a lot. Exhale, bend deeply. So again, the feet are as wide as your mat. Inhale, straighten out those legs. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, straighten out. Exhale, then you come on to that camping spot. You're going to take your forearms to your thighs and just pause here. Notice what's happening with your belly. You lift it up gently. Take the shoulders down away. And we're going to lift to rise. So you're going to take your index fingers right from behind the left. So I'm going to steeple pose here. And we're going to take this over to the right for a side stretch. And then we're going to bend the knees and circle down around to the right and then up and around to the left. So we're making these big circles down and around, up and around. So still at the back of the mat, I'm just showing you. One more time, down and around, up and around. Hold one more time to the right. And then draw your hands to the heart. Come back to camping squat. So again, you're just at the back of your mat and your knees are tracking wide. Come on up to the sky, take your left thumb behind your right thumb. Start going over to the left. And then we'll make those big circles down to the left, up to the right. Again, just keep those steeple fingers down to the left, up to the right. One more time, down to the left, up to the right. Hold on the left, take a full cycle of breath. And then from the back of the mat, hands to heart, on a feet to heat, big toes touch. Find your intention if you want to. Just settle into your breath. I'm going to try to 
give you guys a little more visual here of my hands. Okay. All right, go ahead and turn your hands down by the side. Reach up to the sky, bend the knees deeply, forward fold. Stay here, lengthen and breathe. Shift the weight to the toes as you fold. Shift weight to the heels as you rise. You're gonna do that two more times. I really want you to feel. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze, and then press weight to the tippy toes. Feel the quads fire up. Press weight to the heels as you lengthen, and then reshift weight to toes. Navel goes in. Reshift weight to heels. Lift up. So just feel that little bit of weight transfer one more time. Inhale. Shift the weight to the toes. Spine long, belly firm. Lengthen forward, weight to heel. Fold forward, weight to toe. Inhale, rise. All right, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift up. Make your way down, and then we're going to crawl out to our first plank pose. So go ahead and settle here, organize shoulders over wrists. If it's helpful to, like we say in down dog, spin under your hands in opposite directions, like you're spinning two jars. So you're going to feel your upper arms start to hug in. So maybe for you that works. And then root back to your leg. And in that same way, underneath your ball mounts, if you can energetically spin your toes to the right of the right foot, spin your toes to the left of the left foot. So right away, you should feel your glutes turn on, your inner thighs hug in. Take knees, chest, chin. Come into cobra, or perhaps another upward facing dog. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. One more time, shift to plank. Feel those hands dial in opposite directions. Perhaps it was helpful to dial the toes. Go all the way down or halfway try to rub it on asana. Inhale, back to dog. And one more time through your half vinyasa, right? So just from plank. Belly firm, heart open, downward face. All right, we're going to float the right leg straight behind us. Give it a pause. So you can really press that foot back, melt the left side rib cage to the left thigh. Come knee to nose, really round the spine. Feel every vertebrae rounding. Inhale, back and up. And again, take your time, curl around, press to the fingertips. We're going to make our way right foot steps, left shin rounds on Janae Asana. All right, so play here with this first one. You want to feel the right foot scrubbing forward. You want to fix your clothes <laughs> and then reach on up. So nice to see you guys on a Saturday. Hello. All right, we're going to come back to that same mudra, right thumb behind left, index fingers to the sky. We're going to swing up and over to the right. Now, when you do this, make sure your right sit bone's going down, your left hip's going down. We're going to come through center, lean forward, so it's a supported leaning lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, up and over to the right. Inhale, reach up. Um, so make that leaning lunge supported. One more time, inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale, pause the supported lean. Untuck the left toes and come to full leaning lunge. Move the arms next to your ears through your upper back. And then open up warrior two, adjust your feet. Inhale, stretch out the right leg, lift the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, track the knee to the baby toe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, two. Inhale, reach up. Take that mudra again, right thumb behind, index finger to the sky, and lean back to reverse triangle. We're gonna rebound here and reach over with the same mudra over the right thigh. Inhale, up to reverse triangle. Exhale, unsupported lean. If you need to put your right forearm down, please do. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, unsupported. And we're gonna circle the arms down and around again, and then come to star pose. And then bend the toes to warrior two, back to star pose. Bend the toes into warrior two, Star pose in the center, hands behind you, right thumb on top again, coming into a forward fold. Take your time, first one here. Pigeon toe the feet. Move your head like you're saying no or yes. Transfer weight to toes. Transfer weight to heels. Transfer weight to toes, stay there and feel your arches lift up. All right, take your hands under the shoulders, wide side. 
Pivot to easy twist, left hand down, right arm up. We're gonna spin the toes to the right to take her rise in. So first reach the hand back, settle here with the shoulder over the wrist, power bones are wide. Circle and reach up overhead, exhale. One more time, inhale up and over, exhale. Inhale up and over, circle the arm down and around, and then up and around to plank pose. Move through your slow vinyasa, we meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in, sigh out. All right, left leg lifts up and back, pause to your heel, the belly stretching towards your heart, but your heel stretching behind you. And then slow motion, feel the core plank, go slow. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, back it up. Come on to Anjane, left foot steps forward. First time here, so if you want to rock back and forth, rock back and forth. We'll meet with this mudra, left thumb behind. Upper arms next to your face. Up and over to the left and pause. Slice that left sit bone back and lift the hip bone up on the right side. Inhale, reach up. Come to support and lean lunge. And again, breathe. Exhale over to the left to keep the left knee stable to the left. Lean. Up. Exhale over. Inhale, pause in this leaning lunge. Feel your back muscles, your core muscles on top in leaning lunge. All right, open up warrior two, adjust your feet. Inhale, straighten out the left leg, reach the arms, maybe they touch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right, take the left thumb behind the right, come back to steeple fingers, and go to reverse triangle. And then come to warrior two legs, just lean and reach. Inhale, lift up, reach back. Get the side body, reach on over, inhale up and back. Now from this warrior two, we're gonna circle the arms down and around, pivot the left toes back and over, and then do that again. So make sure you're shifting toes even, come to the right, up to the left. One more time, we meet in star pose, left thumb on top this time, forward fold, second time. We're going to stay here again. If you're ready to go upside down, you certainly can. You don't like to keep your hands interlaced all the time. You go where you like. Maybe the little weight transfer feels good. Fire up the quads. Hands under shoulders, big breath. And then pivot to easy twist, right hand under the shoulder. You take your time here. Left knee's hugging in, right hand's energetically scrubbing forward to keep the shoulder stable as you reach back. Inhale, up and over, arch. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, we'll change the arms this time. Up and over, then circle down and around, up and over to plank. So I promised some shoulder stuff today. Hopefully, we'll feel good with that. All right, with our breath. Take a full cycle here, and then go ahead and reach the right leg up to the sky. <clears throat> Core plank, knee to nose. Inhale, just add on one more thing here. Right knee, right shoulder. Stay in plank. Right knee, left shoulder. Stay in plank and from plank. See if you can step the foot between the hands. Stick it up there if it didn't get there and come to Anjane, right from behind. Inhale, up and over to the right. Inhale. Supported lean. Okay, one more round. Your breath. Maybe a little tug on the back of the left hand to lengthen the left side. Stay in the lean on top and come to warrior two. Inhale, straighten out. Exhale, reach. Maybe a little farther down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right thumb behind, come to that reverse triangle and then leaning warrior two. Inhale, press up, reverse triangle. Leaning warrior two. One more time, reverse triangle. Leaning warrior two, circle the arms down and around through star pose. And again, leaning warrior, circle. Through that star, last time. Leaning warrior, circle. Star pose, hands on the hips. 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. Crawl your hands underneath you for reverse dog. And again, as we stay here for a few breaths, go upside down or not. Make the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, come back to that easy twist. Exhale, reach the right hand up. Take the reach back. Arch up and over. Reach it back. Arch up and over. Listen up. We're going to change this. Reach it back. Circle down and around, up and around. Stay here or step the feet side plank. Reaching the arm up or over. Make sure your hips are lifting and you're breathing. We meet in downward facing dog. Out of the head, stay still. Heart stays open. Belly stays firm. Inhale, sigh out. All right, left leg lift. Core plank, shift to the fingertips. Inhale, adding on here. Left knee to shoulder, stay in plank. The crown of the head reaches forward. Left to right, stay in plank. Use core left foot steps. On J, inhale, left thumb behind. Big breath here, up and over. So breathe at your own pace, support and length. One more time. All right, from the supported lane, come unsupported on top. Right away, warrior two. Straighten out the left and breathe. Hang a little deeper into that left thigh. <clears throat> Make sure your right arch stays lifted. One more time. We meet with the left thumb, steeple finger, reach back. And then unsupported warrior two. So I want you to feel like you're leaning back against a wall the whole time. Your rib cage is knitting, your left heel is rooting. From here, circle those arms and pivot the foot through star. Pivot the foot unsupported two. Pivot. Make sure you make that shift, these big circles. One more time, end up in the middle. Hands back to the waist. Reach up. And then this time in the forward fold, long dog. Crawl your arms forward. Maybe open and close your jaw. So really just feel the breath here. Making sure I just got a ding. I want to make sure nobody's reaching me. Okay. All right. Now the hands back under the shoulders. We meet and revolve lunge. All right. So first time here, we stay, now we just breathe, reach. Up and over, and reach. From here, up and over, circle down and around, and stay with that horizon lunge, or stack the feet side plank, arm up or over. Make sure your top hip is even with your bottom hip. A lot of times we tend to open up and that's a back bend. So really feel the right side oblique here. Meet in downward facing dog, and we're going to crawl the hands to the feet to loop the peace fingers around the big toes. And take your time, crawl on back, use the core to get there. Peace fingers grab, inhale, then exhale. All right, so see if you can try to pull these fingers out from under the toes, but the toes are pressing down. So you're going to feel your shoulder stretch, you're going to feel your upper arms animate, and really lift through that deep core. All right, keep those feet to, in a number 11 pose and come to chair pose here. All right, so look down, make sure you can see your toes. And we're gonna circle here. I'm just gonna step forward so you can see maybe a little better. Keep your palms facing each other and just circle the arm behind you and up and the left arm behind you and up. So with these palms facing each other, it's a different experience We'll do something different next time. So just feel that way this time. Circle back. Now, keep all those fingers again right from behind. Come to half chair and then just reach to the right. But keep your hips even. Come to center, reach to the left. Keep your hips even and then forward fold. Back to chair pose. This time, flatten out the palms. So it's like you're saying stop and circle that way, so it's different. Just feel a little different for the shoulder. Right side and left side, you'll circle back, circle back. Just 
Just lift your back one more time. Stay in chair. And then left them on top steeple, half chair, and then lean to the left. Feel that right side body. Stay in half, lean to the right, come to center, forward fold, crawl back out to downward facing dog. We parallel the feet, reconnect with your breath. All right, put the right leg up, bend the knees, stack the hip. Stay here or circle something or a few things, hip joint, ankle joint. Come back to straighten out and then warrior one. So ground that back heel down, lift your arms up. Okay. We're gonna reach the palms forward as you stretch out. And like you're skimming the surface of water, the palms go out, we re reach up to warrior one. So exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, stay for an exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, now hold your warrior one. Okay, take those palms back forward, circle the right arm back, stay, circle the left arm back, stay, right them on top again, humble fold. You know, try to keep those hands interlaced, lift halfway up, pivot through unsupported leaning lunge, or wide monkey, and then into transverse lunge, left knee. Hands remain behind you or to the floor. Come back to wide monkey. Bend the knees, reach up, reach the arms up. Pivot the right toes forward and come to triangle pose. All right. It's like an old friend. From doing a lot of stuff that's different, it's nice to come back to something you know well. So maybe if you lost your breath doing some new things, you can just find your breath doing this thing. All right, we're gonna shift into something else familiar, half moon pose. Take your hand to the waist, because I want you to feel your top hip hugging. Once you get up, give that top hip a hug, then reach the arm up. Hand on the floor, hand on a block, hand floating off to your heart. One more breath. We're gonna stay forward and lower the left hand and crouch the curl. So the left knee comes behind. So you're going to draw your hands to the waist or the heart and pause. And you're going to come to bent knee warrior three. Try not to change your right leg or your upper body as you tuck the left knee back into crouching curl. And then back to bent knee three. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw one more time. All right, stay here. Or on an inhale, come to warrior three. Feel the strength of your amazing right leg, your glute, your quad, and then left big toe, touch to right big toes. Inhale, out and up, open your mouth, sigh. Sade, inhale, exhale. Inhale, step, step or hop back into chaturanga. We need a downward facing dog. All right, left leg will lift up, you'll bend and stack. You stayed or you circled a few things or something. Make sure your navel is still engaged up towards your heart. Low ribs knitting in, arms are straight. Left leg straightens out, we we'll come to warrior one. All right, so adjust your feet, reach those arms up. All right, spin the palms forward, exhale, straighten. Inhale, skin, stay for the exhale. Inhale, warrior. Exhale, flatten out, straighten out. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Now find your warrior one. Circle the left hand back and stay. Right arm back and stay. Left thumb on top. Humble fold halfway or all the way. Make sure your right arch is lifted, left foot bones tucking under. Try to keep the hands interlaced. Halfway lift through wide monkey to transverse lunge. So lots of pivoting and switching. Make sure your right foot and knee are in the same plane. 
and then come back through half, little bend in the knees to reach up, arms rise, pivot the left toes forward for triangle pose. Ha. Shoulder soft, face soft. I'm smiling. <laughs> Maybe you're smiling. You can't see me, but I am. All right, hand to the waist. So feel that top hip. Give it a little hug as you come into Ardha Chandrasana 2. When you like your hand at your hip, keep it there. Right? Go where you like. You're at home. Staying forward on this left foot. Put a deep bend in the right. Take the hand down and come slowly into crouching curl. So the right knee is behind the left calf. Now hands at the waist or hands at the heart. Bend knee three, inhale. Try not to change anything, just move this right leg. Press it back. If you can loosen the grip of your left toes also, then you'll stay in bent knee three on a slow big inhalation, slide up to warrior three. Right toes touch left toe. Inhale, open your mouth. Three namaskar A. Let me see it. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale. Make your way to downward facing dog. And you're going to stay there. Go to child's pose. Or if you want to go upside down, you'll go upside down. So take your time. Nice, Carrie. All right. So take your time to get into a shape. And just as importantly, when we're ready to get out of the shape, you'll take your time as well. So if you're in child's pose, Jamie, you want to take your hands down by your feet. If your shoulders feel better that way, go for it. Carrie, dome your upper back just a little bit and see if that turns on your core, but still melt your heart towards your thighs. Yeah, nice. All right, a few more breaths where you've gone. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. All right. So with our breath through that, inhale, reach the right leg up, bend and stack. Stay here or flip your dog. And if you can spin the palm down and then circle it around underneath to press up to your sacrum. So not the lumbar spine, the sacrum. And then move the elbow out and breathe. All right, come back to down dog split and then come to that warrior one. Reach up, exhale, straighten out. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay for the exhale. We're changing this. Inhale, lean the lunge. Now I'm pressing those palms down. We're gonna slide down an imaginary wall. Inhale, reach, keep the right sit bone tucked under, exhale, full pose. One more time, inhale, and now take the left arm under for eagle wrap. Stay halfway or humbly fold, locking the shoulder in to the inner right leg. All right, keep the feet, keep the arms. We're going to open up warrior two with eagle and then to the left foot, feel the right shoulder stretch. Come through center, forward, exhale over. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale forward, exhale fold. Inhale up. Now breathe here. Feel the back of that right shoulder. Rebound the right knee. Straighten out, come to reverse triangle. Stay reverse triangle, bend into reverse warrior. Bend your top arm and lean your head back like your forearms a pillow and just breathe. Feel the distance of the right elbow getting farther away from the right thigh. And then try to keep that arm bent as you come to support and side angle. Circle down and around, circle up and around. One more time, circle down and around. Circle up and around, keep your left arm back, let your right thumb connect. So now you're in a fake bind. One more breath. Come back to leaning lunge. Keep those hands interlaced, lunge to warrior three.
start to read on the right, plant the hands and come to one leg plank. Bend the knee at the joint and pause. So if this is better for your back with your left knee down, put it down. Three, two, right knee to the shoulder, pulse eight. Crown of the head reaching forward, you're doming your back. Four, three, two, to the left, pulse eight. Adding some core in. Four, three, bonus, fall in triangle. You can let the foot float or just stretch out the belly. All right, left hand down, plank vinyasa. We need a dog. Reconnect with your breath. Settle in. Float your left leg up. Bend and stack. Shoulders over wrist. Flip the dog. So start with your left thumb down and stay. Or circle the arm around to the back of your left hand. Presses gently up to the sacrum. Elbow goes out wide. Back to the split dog. Come to warrior one. All right. Plus the palms and straighten out. Skim along the surface. Stay for the exhale. Back to warrior one. Press and reach. Skin and stay. Warrior one, now press and reach forward, leaning warrior. Exhale, slide those elbows down. So keep tucking the left sit bone under, the toes are light, back arch is lifted. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Right arm wraps under for eagle. And we'll just go halfway or stay humble fold. Tuck to the chin. All right, see what feels better here. Energetically heels 12 away from each other or towards each other. Keep that action as you keep the eagle arms. Come to the right leg. Now inhale, slowly exhale, humble. Inhale to the right, exhale. Keep that left knee open to the left. One more time. We're gonna hold to get a nice big back of the left shoulder stretch here. With the elbow shoulder height, take the arms up, come to reverse triangle, and then keep this reverse action as you re-bend. Then bend your upper arms, lean back, light grip here, come to supported. Circle the arm down, circle the arm up. One more time, just move with your breath. Keep the right arm reaching back, left hand comes to grip it, fake bind, leaning lunge, warrior three. Bend the left hand, plant one leg plank, bend the knee and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, Four, feel the strength of your right leg. The crown of the head stays reaching forward. Eight times, tap the left shoulder. Seven, six, five. Keep straightening out through the right leg. Don't lean the upper back. And to the right, eight, seven. Make sure your head's not dipping. Fall in triangle, breathe. Come to plank and forearm plank. So last time for core here. If you don't want core, you can come into dolphin. If you have pinch my rasana, you can do that. I'm just gonna grab a towel. So you have about 45 more seconds. So like your head butting forward, doming that back. So Jamie, if you're in forearm plank, maybe lower your tush just a smidge. Yeah, now use your legs back. I can just see the top of your tush, but I'm feeling like you might be a little too high. Here, you look great. All right. 20 seconds or so. You need to come down, come down. Now 
We're meeting in sphinx pose. Shrug the elbows towards your hips and lift your heart. Just kind of work the tailbone back and forth like you're a happy puppy. And we're gonna slide the right knee to the right shoulder. Okay, you're gonna take your right arm forward and feel the left forearm scrub down and back as you turn the gaze to the left and then shift the gaze to the right. Now there's space under this right elbow. You're gonna slide the left arm under and come to twist. So <clears throat> all the way to the ground here, make sure both shoulders are rooting. In fact, you can take your left hand to the right shoulder, gently press it. Like you're just giving your front shoulder a massage towards your right hand. Maybe this left hand might enjoy helping your right hip lengthen away from your right armpit. Come back around the slumber party, both forearms down, scrubbing back, and then slide the right leg down. So first start with the left knee up to the shoulder, up to the elbow here. Your right leg is either straight or kind of slacked out. Left arm stretches, so feel the stretch on this left side and right side. Energetically scrub the right forearm back towards your hip again as you turn to the right, and then gaze to the left, and then slide that right arm and come to twist. And if it was helpful, right hand to the front head of the left shoulder, encouraging the back of it to glue to the ground or to the thigh, pressing gently down and make length on this left side. And then come back around, both forearms down, front towards the hips, lift through the heart, slide down. One hand at a time, comes under the shoulders, tuck the toes, come to plank and pause. Come to chaturanga and pause. Come to plank and pause. Come to chaturanga and pause. Come to plank and pause. Downward facing dog. Bend your right knee. One time, take it to the left and lift that left arm up. Maybe now the left heel goes down and switch. Bend the left, tip it to the right, lift the right hand. Bend both knees into bear pose. Then crawl your hands to your feet here. This time bring your big toes to touch and either cup the palms under the heels, wrapping forearms around calves, or Vulcan those fingers on either side of the Achilles forward fold. All right, big toes are touching. Come to Utkatasana. Our next one, the back palms face each other. Inhale, Uga, palms press forward. Exhale, Arda with the palms the same direction. Inhale, reach up. Bring the palms towards you. Exhale, Arda. Now come to hands to heart. You're at the back of the mat. Go to curl prep with the knees out or physically take the elbows to the shin. So the minute I take my elbows to my shin, it turns on my core like I'm wrapping around a basketball or go to pro pose. Here at the back of the mat, so you're not gonna jump anywhere. So if you wanna feel that belly turn on action, you can physically, it's almost like you're doing a high lift maneuver, like it's a, it's a press in and up. We're gonna need back in chair pose. One time, Arda, palms face each other, palms face the ground, then they face the sky, palms face you, then they face the ground. Half chair, hands to heart, left elbow hooks, and you can stay on your own two feet. You've got time to play with side crow or look down and float this left leg back or keep it bent like a scorpion. We're all going to come through one leg chair, knee to knee, to come up to crane pose. And then we're going to come flying pigeon. Take those hands out. And then again, like you're skimming the surface of water, reach them forward. Stay there or take them down for the arm balance. So if having your arms extended bothers your back, shorten the distance between your arms and your back. Send love to this right leg. All right, chair pose, stand up, goal pose, sigh. 
Inhale, right hand down, side stretch. Inhale, left hand down, side stretch. Inhale, chair pose again, Uka. Let's do that arm thing, palms face each other, palms face away, palms face the sky, palms face you, palms face down, stay low, hands to heart, right elbow, chair twist. You can get your thumbs to your heart, play with what you did on the first side. I looked down and floated into the scorpion idea. Separate your teeth. Now come through one leg chair so you can just lift your foot off the ground and then come to crane pose, flying pigeon. Make sure your whole right ankle is supported and then reach those palms forward, stay or take them down to the ground on balance. Over your back needs you to go with your arms. Think about um, cobra pose if you're in this position. Obviously, if you're in Galavasana, that's more like cat pose. Slow motion chair, stand tall, inhale up, full post, inhale up, left hand down, side stretch, inhale, right hand up, inhale, forward fold, exhale, inhale, lengthen, make your way to plank chaturanga or just right to downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up to the sky. Step it between the hands, runner's lunge. Straighten out to long pyramid, back to runner's lunge. And two more like that. Inhale, lengthen, long pyramid. Let me check my time. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, long pyramid, stay, or shorten to traditional pyramid. So we're eventually going to meet here, but if you're comfortable staying in long pyramid and you get a nice, delicious, juicy stretch for both legs, stay. Make sure that right big toes press me down. Now let's all meet in traditional pyramid, so bump that back foot in. We're going to take the hands under the shoulders and then go revolve Abrita Trikonasana. Take the right hand back behind you down to the ground, forward and up. Circle the other way. And then circle it, quarter turn, right hand down, left arm up. Switch. And then come back to pyramid pose. And then come to standing split. Then crouch to curl. Come up, come back to pyramid pose. Standing split, crouching curl, inhale, pyramid, exhale, move the hands. Inhale, stay standing split or balanced or hand and hop, feel these joints. Your right foot forward, it's going to stay there. We're going to come back to runner's lunge or pigeon pose. We'll do the other side later. So enjoy the melting down into your pigeon. Notice if you're kind of laying on this right ankle here on towards your left hip, move the right ankle away from your left hip. So even if that means you need to put something underneath your right sit bone, I want you to move away from laying on your ankle joint. You can slow down your breath. Sometimes I like to stretch my arms way forward, or sometimes I take them out like a T, or one or both behind me if your head is comfortable without your arms supporting it. Make sure my super flexy friends hug the hips towards each other. Everybody should be, but especially if you're floppy like I am, you need to engage. All right, bring the hands under the shoulders, lift the heart, shift the gaze to the left, 
take the chin down, shift the gaze to the right, come to down dog split, vinyasa or skip it, we go to downward facing dog. All right, you're gonna float the left leg up, step it to runners and pause, and go ahead and start to tick tock through long pyramid back to runners. All right, so don't make this an arm balance, just go back and forth, focus on your legs, and you'll stay in long pyramid or you'll go right away to traditional. All right, so that's where we're gonna end up. Either way, sit bones up towards each other. And let's all bump that right foot back and in traditional pyramid. Hands under shoulders, finally, uh, reach a true Godasana. Left hand back down and over, forward and down, and then quarter turn, left hand, right arm up. This time take a half bind of some kind. And again, you'll see if you can shift your own left hip to even out just a bit. I don't want you to crank it but I don't want you to have it tucked under too far. So you find where this left hip feels best and then switch and do the same thing on the right. When your left arm comes up, you decide how far back and up the right hip will feel. And your back will tell you. Hands down and then come back to traditional pyramid. And we tick tocked from standing splits on an inhale back to pyramid on the exhale. Lots of love now for this left hamstring. Back to pyramid, angle the back foot, crawl the hands back and forth. Now stay in some version of standing splits, balance or handstand hop or handstand. And then come to runner's lunge slowly and then snuggle. So see if you can keep this left ankle really behind the wrist versus letting it tuck towards your right hip. And then come on down and out into Vigia. All right, so press that right instep down. Hug your hips energetically towards each other. See if something's stuck. Like right now, my back right here is a little tight at my sacrum. So I'm gonna breathe into it. Okay, so just notice where you have a little tension. That's the opportunity of yoga. A yoga lets us pay attention. What a great opportunity to figure out what might be stuck and then work the breath there to unstick it. We played with different arm variations. Don't forget to try it out. And we're gonna meet with the hands under the shoulders. Come tall with the body, reach the heart up, gaze to the right, take the chin down, gaze to the left. And then from here, just come to dog. So we're going to meet on our back. So you can hop, step, or float forward to the back, or just come to plank pose and come to the back. We'll just start with back bending here. Have your heels underneath your ankles, and go ahead and make sure that your palms are open for this first one. And let your heart lift up with your hips. So gentle glutes, gentle quads, palms open. And then start from the back door of the heart to pop up a little higher, and then maybe the belly and hips will lift a little higher. So lots of air space right here between the shoulder blades. And then turn the palms down and flatten out between the shoulder blades as you come one your vertebrae down, articulate. Once your tailbone touches the mat, lift the lumbar spine up so the pelvis is wrapping up. Now return and reverse, tuck round, curl up, keep the palms flat, and then walk the hands kind of maybe behind the ankles. You don't have to grip the ankles. For me, that's way too crunchy for my back and my knees. So I always stack my feet. So go ahead and make air space now between the shoulder blades. So puff up the back door of the heart, press down through those heels, maybe lift a little higher. And this time, open the palms, all the hands out and up, see the shoulder blades melt to the mat. 
Articulate the spine one vertebra at a time down. Once you touch, create that lumbar curve, reverse it, and before you come back up to side, bridge pose or hands over the head for full wheel. So I'm gonna go bridge pose to interlace my hands. You go where you wanna go. We all have five breaths. Lots of air space behind that back door of the heart for sure in this third one. And if you're upside down, try to land on the back of the shoulders and we'll all start to separate. So we meet there and then melt down one vertebra at a time, make that little baby back bend at the lumbar and then come to neutral spine. Take your feet wide, arms out like the letter T, exhale to the right, we're gonna breathe here. Inhale to the sky, exhale to the left. One more full round, side to side. Maybe start to shift your gaze in the opposite direction. Soften the muscles of the neck. Next time your knees come right, you'll stay there. So whether you like windshield wiper or taking the angle to the side or knees in a pile, everybody's twisting to the right. Melt the shoulder blades to the neck. All right, take those feet back wide. Inhale, knees to the sky. We'll breathe again. Exhale, dip knees to the left. Inhale, bring up to the sky, to the right. And then stay to the left as you like. Your turn. And then bring those knees back to the sky. If there's any other shape you'd like to make, make it. Otherwise, just keep your feet wide. Keep your arms wide. Take up space for your shavasana. Make it a big dessert instead of a tiny little fearful looking dessert. Take up your space. Just spread out as you shut your eyes down. Let your breath just be. come into that idea of a human being instead of a human doing. Nothing else to do. Stay as you are for as long as you'd like. If you need to reawaken, start to wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, and somehow, some way, make your way to fetal posture. It doesn't always have to be from the ground up. It can just be from the side, right? So when we travel into each position in your yoga practice mindfully, no matter what the pose is, even towards the end of class, pay attention to what feels best. And when you come to a seat, perhaps untuck the traditional way, go the unusual way in your dukasana, hands to heart. Roll the shoulders one more time away from those ears and drop the thumbs to the third eye. Thank you so much for waking up with me or finding me later. Welcome back to Saturday. 8 a.m. with me, Om Shanti, Om Peace, Namaste. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you, I hope, soon. Thanks for coming. Bye, ladies. Have a wonderful day.